everybody, so it's TJ here with the 3D Printing Lab, and today we're going to check out another Kickstarter project, because I love Kickstarter projects, and Kickstarter projects are some of the many things that get people into the 3D printing community, because they have very small prices on very early bird products, and allows you to get a great price for it, and I feel like I need to tell you about this, because something special is going to be happening with this Kickstarter today. So happy 4th of July, and let's get to this video. On your marks, get ready, go. Why not? We're going to get straight to the screencast. I will tell you right now, though, I took this video about on Thursday, and it's Tuesday, so all the dates that I'm saying in there for the specific time and details are different from when you're going to be seeing this video. So, take it away. So right here, I have the Kodama Obsidian 3D printer. So, there have been a lot of websites and people talking about the Kodama Obsidian, there's a few in the links that I will include. There's the Joel Telling review where he talked with Michael, the CEO of Kodama. They also have the one by 3D Maker Noob where he went to the Kodama facility and looked at the machine. There's another video by the person of Make Anything where he looks at the machine and plays around with it. And here is their successful, very successful Kickstarter campaign. So we have the Kodama obsidian right here so first let's take a look at the price so if they had a thousand dollar goal and they're at five times that goal i will tell you this kickstarter launched on monday at 12 30 eastern standard time in the afternoon right now it is currently 10 p.m eastern standard time on thursday and they have multiplied their goal by more than five times but first things first i'm going to show you their kickstarter video just to get into it a little bit so sit back and enjoy it's time to take a new look at 3d printing it's time to take a look at obsidian obsidian is the first 3d printer of its kind it's blend of style I can't just show you the entire video. We have to look at it together, and I have to comment on it. So it's time to take a new look at 3D printing. All right, injection molded carriage, separate extruder. It's time. Bowden extruder. Take a look at Obsidian. Ultimaker driven systems. You can see the nozzle is moving on separate rails right there. Obsidian is the first manual 3D bed print. leveling. It is manual bed leveling and has a regular, probably a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and that is 1.75 millimeter filament that is going into that machine based on the law. It's kind. It's blend of style and LCD screen. It's never seen before in the end. That is definitely an Ultimaker driven system. And that is a Bowden extruder on the side. Right here where the cursor is. That is a Bowden extruder. Looks like it takes SD card and USB, separate spool holder on the side right there. Print quality of machines 10 times its price. 10 times its price. I'm going with they're comparing it to probably an Ultimaker 2. 2 Go, maybe? 2 Go is the same size as this. All of this with a breathtaking design. Choose from a palette of colors and all polymaker filament. As unlimited as your ideas. Bring 3D printing into your creative process for the It is a touchscreen LCD. It's time. Obsi they printed it out in their wood filament that brings polymaker. Ideas into reality. Looks like it's got nice quality. I'm pretty sure that it's not an, in an exact printed part. It's probably mostly made by the company. They might have made a plastic model of it and then CNC'd it, but you're not going to be getting something out of that out of a 3D print. Obsidian makes printing high-quality 3D models effortless. Definitely a bonus. Our optimized system. user interface guides you. Just tap and print. Looks like they're using VR tilt brush, maybe, to... Get this out in VR. 
Choose any major software to design your models. Whether on your con They said designing models, they are using that as a slicer. That is Simplify 3D. I know what Simplify 3D looks like. ...or in virtual reality. Yep. But you don't need to be a designer to get started. Thousands of creatives from around the world are sharing their models online for free. 3D printing is a movement. Join it. Obsidian's app Looks lets like you... Looks like could print from the phone. ...pull your printer from anywhere. got a camera on it keep an eye on your prints and adjust the camera and even on the go definitely that okay for obsidian's camera is made there you not go, camera. for live streaming but also for time lapse record see now that is something very interesting it is very difficult to live stream on a built-in camera or time lapse on a built-in camera i've had machines that have built-in cameras couldn't live stream couldn't access it will be very interesting to see how exactly they're going to be accessing the camera on the machine. So you can share your favorite prints on social media. Show friends your creations in motion. We think there is only one step between imagination and reality. Between holding an idea in your mind. I'd love to see how they actually printed that. Because that's not possible. And seeing it materialize before your eyes. And we call this step. Alright, so there's the video. Let's take a little bit look at here. So shipping is EU friendly. I, I originally backed this Kickstarter and a lot of people were getting pissed about the shipping. Yes. People were very mad about the shipping. And as you can see, I have selected to pledge for this machine. So here's the white version of the machine. Runs non-proprietary firmware. Non-proprietary firmware? So, what's so special about it? We got all this here. We're just taking a look at the machine. But I'm not really going to talk about it. I don't really care about the machine that much. What I care about is the story behind the company. Here's a print that someone did. This is actually Joel's print it looks okay it's a little bit stringy looks like they got cable chains custom leds up there they have a printer showcase so let's see what they got here a print showcase so there's maker muse's lattice cube Looks like they got a bunch of other things. They got some videos here. They got some pictures. Yep. Um, what else do they got here? Tech specs, camera, asterisk, color touchscreen, asterisk, heated bed, asterisk. Okay, we'll take a look at that later. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Okay, so 120 by 120 by 120. All right. Uses a NEMA 17 motor. Looks like they got two different screens, camera. That's sold out. We know that. I have this guy right here. I pledge for this one. So all backers receive a voucher entitling them to 10% off Kodama products for life. All right, so they got all of this, all of this. But who hasn't heard of the Kodama line of machines? If you haven't heard of code if you've ever heard of Kodama, you've probably heard of this. This is the Trinus. This is the campaign that they launched around last year. And they have the Trinus here. And this established Kodama in the 3D printing community. With this robust small machine made out of being able four separate towers, being able to print out all of these awesome filaments and laser engraved too. But they were able to do all of this awesome things. And it just looks perfect. Here's their partners. Trinus was a successful campaign. Let's see if they shipped on time. Looks like they just posted an update here.
Shipments at full speed. Footage from Flextronics. Hardware software. Prototype raffle. Mega update. Insight from the survey. Survey's out today. They were supposed to ship in August. Updates. December. So it looks like they were a little bit late. They were off by two months, which isn't that bad for a Kickstarter, really. A lot of Kickstarters don't ship on time. Let's also take a look at who exactly Kodama is. So they have their own store still. And with this, you can get 10% off everything on here. So the Trinus. You can get a Trinus for $37 off. You could get other things. You could get filament from them. They have... All of the Polymaker. It looks like they have all of the Polymaker. I'm not sure. Um, I love this Kodama Blue, though. It looks so pretty. Ooh. It's actually cheap, too. Oh, it's 250 grand. That's why. That would make more sense. But there's everything about this. And Joel Telling made a video on the Kodama Obsidian. And right here I have this video. And this is what... Michael, the CEO of Kodama, specifically said, The Kickstarter shipping prices include VAT and import taxes for the customer. I cannot charge any more, and I will do what I can. I think adding a free spool of polypus teal to all orders, retail of $36 or $25 on the Kickstarter, so it in theory brings the shipping down to $25 and $45 for Europe, including VAT. Every new backer gets 10% Kodama discount for life after the campaign. So... That means that I would get a free roll of filament, except that's not what they decided to do. If you look at their updates here, they've already reached a half a million milestone in three days. Here's the video they posted it yesterday. Here's Joel. Shipping clarification. This is why everybody was getting pissed. So this is what shipping actually covers. The warehousing costs in China, the outer box to keep it safe, the pick and pack costs. So pretty much people saying, oh, I want a heated bed upgrade. They ship all these st the machines to their house. And people say, oh, I want a heated bed upgrade. They have to open that box, take the heated bed upgrade, pack it in securely to then tape it back up and resend it. So that's what they mean by pick and pack. Pop. Pick and pack. Domestic transport of the obsidians in Ch China. So moving them from China to, say, United States, then be packed and shipped around. Shipping obsidians by boat. So if they're shipping it all from China, they're going to send it on a boat to the Americas drive it across, um, send it across the plane, yada yada. Import taxes, import taxes are high as hell. Inbound shipping, pack and, pick and pack shipping labels, warehouse fees, and domestic shipping. It's not a build your own kit. Comes fully assembled, so that means they have to spend a whole lot more money on shipping. You're sending air. That's what I hate about fully assembled machines that you have to pay shipping for. You're pretty much paying for air, and no one wants to pay for air. It's, air's heavy. But, um, so what they decided to do, what they decided to do is give people a $10 credit for people who bought the Obsidian and the Obsidian Plus and for people who bought the Obsidian Deluxe. Those people are going to be getting a special coupon where you get either 10 or $20 off of your order, any backers. So you'll pretty much get the price to be able to add more add-ons onto the machine. That way you'll have a coupon. And yes, people, even though they heard about this, are still pissed. Not that pissed as they were before, but they are still pissed. So let's go back over to my face. So Kodama is doing this thing today where at 11.11 11 a.m. PST, so Pacific Standard Time, or 2.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's going to be something called the Eagle Early Bird. I'm pretty sure I have the details right here. So it's the Eagle Early Bird. And that is, it's the Obsidian Basic. So that's the $99 one, except free shipping. There is free shipping on the item. So a lot of people got mad that they couldn't get the Early, Early, Early Bird for $49. The shipping is quite expensive to some countries it's 150 dollars to the united states it's 50. i'm still gonna try and get this early early bird special because i can 
I have a pledge that is not under a certain amount. So if I manage to not get this, I can just go back to that pledge. But I am going to try and get the early, the eagle early bird. It's weird to say that. But I have all the details right here. You can check the updates tab on the Kodama Kickstarter. There's a link in the video description. And it will be going live currently right now. It is 8.40. It will be going live in 5 hours, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds. So I'm going to upload this video as soon as I finish shooting this and editing it. It will be very quickly. But guys, thanks for coming to the channel today. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you liked it. Leave a relevant comment down below if you have any questions. And I have to tell you guys this. If you don't notice on the channel, there is a live stream scheduled. That is going to be the small YouTubers channel chat that I'm doing. It's me, Juicy Moose, Abuzz Designs, possibly Sparky Face 5, Mara Hitner, and Devin over at Unlikely Creators. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, so, check out the channel. There's a video right here and here. And you can support me via Patreon right there. And you can subscribe to my channel right here. Remember, if you subscribe to my channel to hit the little bell right next to it so you get notified right when these videos come out. Peace out, guys.